man who played a pivotal role in Miami politics lost his battle with spinal cancer. He was 84 years old. Beret was the city's first ever Hispanic mayor. Local 10 News reporter Janine Stanwood is live in Miami for us tonight. Janine. And this 23 acre park is part of the legacy of Maurice Ferre. It bears his name. He's being remembered tonight as a trailblazer. Maurice Ferre was originally from Puerto Rico, but building Miami was his legacy. For two years, he was battling an aggressive spinal cancer. He died today surrounded by family. Flags at City Hall are at half staff. There's one thing that you know about Maurice Ferre, his vision. Everything you see here today was a vision that Maurice had maybe 15, 20 years ago. And I came here in 1953 and uh, University of Miami never left. Inspired by his uncle, who was governor in Puerto Rico, Ferre dove into politics in his new home of Florida, inspiring leaders who are remembering him. A great man, a mentor of mine, uh, a leader in, the, in this community. And as I've stated before, that if there were Mount Rushmore here in Miami, He'd be on it. Well, I remember when we did the, the, name, the park naming, we saw video of him when he was my age. And, you know, some of the, the way he looked, the way he presented himself, I mean, those are things that influenced me, the way that I dress, the way that I look, the way that I speak. Ferre became the first Hispanic mayor of the city of Miami in 1973 through the rough and tumble 1980s, but emerging under his leadership as a hub of commerce. We have to have an important park. And changing with his influence even to the end, Ferre was 84. Even as, as he became an elder statesman, his, uh, he was always looking to the future. Ferre said he loved the inner workings of politics. He loved Miami, not just for what it is, but for what it could be. A memorial right now is being planned for Thursday. We're in Miami. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. Okay.